And so this is how we're going to do the bind off for tapiza and break up. As you can see, I have this green or this gray little swatch here and this lovely blue green that we're gonna do the bind off in so it's easier for everyone to see. So what we're gonna do first is we are going to go into the first two stitches as if to knit two together. So everyone can see we've gone into those two as if we're going to knit them together. Now we're going to wrap that and pull it through. So we have the two stitches are right here. And then we're gonna go back through the first stitch. So it ends up looking like that. We have the stitches right there. Then we are going to again knit into the first one. So we have the first stitch, we have two green ones, and then we're gonna pull them off. Now we have the two green stitches right here. We're gonna take the one in the back and knit it and drop it off the front of the other one. And then we're going to just put the first stitch back onto the needles. And we're gonna keep doing that. So again, we're going to go in as if we're gonna knit two together, wrap it and pull it through, go back into the first stitch, knit it, pull it through. We'll have two stitches on this side, pull the first one over, put the second one back on. And we just keep doing that pattern. Now that we've gotten to the end, I'll just weave this in really quick. It's not gonna look perfect because I knit with two colors, but that's okay, go like that. So as you can see that it actually rolls down. So when you use the same color, it will be invisible, but it'll have a nice little rolled edge and I mean, it's pretty stretchy. It's not going to be as stretchy as some bind offs, but it is a very stretchy bind off. And if you use the same colors, it'll be almost invisible. And once you block it, it's going to have this nice rolled edge and it is pretty decorative right there on the edge.